Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Yale number 3694626. That's a three and three quarter inch back set latch bolt for their third, their, pardon me, their 5400 series lock sets. Uh, you don't see three and three quarter often, but you do see it. They do, they do exist. Uh, this is where where would this exist? There was this would exist in an application where you needed to move the hardware over further away uh, from the edge of the door for either some potential feature to the door and frame, or maybe it's just a design sort of concept. Um, in the client where this material is going to, they could have just wanted a little further away back set for the look of the matter um, which you know this would be one inch longer than a standard two and three quarter uh, in terms of the back set from the edge of the door to the center of the hole but you don't bump into them that often um, you'll see extended back sets longer back sets um, so back sets two and three quarter obviously is the standard common uh, back set for commercial anything two and three eighths would be considered standard for residential now you can also have a two inch back set not super common, but neither is three and three quarter. I would say this is more common than two inch. Uh, you can have shorter back sets. You know, when you, two inch you can do in a, a particular manufacturer makes a two inch back set deadbolt. You can do inch and a half. You can do inch and an eighth. You can do one inch. You can do 31, 30 seconds. All that gets into the aluminum storefront range. Your, your three and three quarter, your five inch, your seven inch, and uh, variants longer than that, um, three and three quarter five inch could be push and pull hardware that you would see in a hospital that material the hardware they want physically moved away further from the door jam so that it's easier to work the hardware this push pull hardware is literally literally where you're going up to the door and pushing it with your elbow or with your forearm because you've sanitized your hands getting it away from the jam is the point three and three quarter five inch seven inch um, you get into 12 inch, 18 inch, things of that nature. That's mid-century sort of uh, residential looks where they wanted to put the locks in the center of the door or well, or well far away from the edge because the look of the time, and when I say mid-century, I mean the 1950s. You know, they had really gorgeous, large escutcheons. Some of them were quite large. Some of them were not that big, but you could have starburst and you could have Greek motif etched uh, key sort of looks in a variety. If you were to look in the, I'm not sure how big Yale was into it, but they, I bet they were certainly big into it in the 1950s. The name Schlage comes to mind only because I think of residential when I think of those bigger uh, back sets and those beautiful discussions. Uh, Schlage mid-century catalog would show you a lot of that stuff. This is probably very commercial in nature and they needed to move the hardware away to make it easier or more appropriate to actually use the hardware. So this is uh, obviously a factory modified uh, latch bolt somehow. They obviously took an extension link or a housing. Um, you know, and beyond that, I don't know. I don't know, you know, how they, you know, modify this. Or if these subcomponents are just meant for three and three quarter, it doesn't matter. Uh, nowhere on here will it measure three and three quarter because again the back sets from the edge of the door to the center of the hole. This very interestingly does not have a floating front. Interesting. This is for a beveled edge door only, and we're going to look at the cut sheet. This this does not float, meaning it can't handle a square edge door as it can a beveled edge door. So be mindful of that. Um, I would have assumed these were only these these would have been floating edge. Uh, overall height is going to be two and a quarter. Overall width is going to be inch and an eighth. 626 is a reference to the faceplate. This does have our UL information on it. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus on that a little bit better. Now uh, you can see UL, you can see the listed, you can see the capital letter F, which means that it's positive pressure compliant. Okay, so this would be compliant with use on a fire rated door. It also has the decal here, but a fire door assembly inspector is not going to be pulling hardware off a door to look at stuff. Um, they want to, they'll be looking for it to be on the edge of the faceplate, which you would have on a, on a latch bolt. If you don't have any of that there, um, you can pretty much count on it not 
permissible for use on a fire rated door. Now let's switch to the screen view where we can get to the extended description information for this latch bolt. So this is the item that we're looking at here. Not a lot to see, uh, certainly at this moment, but here's the link to the manufacturer's page. And when you click on that, the manufacturer's page is going to open where you can pull up the uh, most current product catalog. And when you pull that document up, and the cut sheet is going to be li is linked to down below, but uh, what we're below this video, but what we're looking at here is indeed the 3694. This is going to be for the 54LN series, which is their grade one lever. Uh, will it work on a knob? It probably will. Um, I don't know that it will. Um, if it's a fire rated door, I would not, I would not proceed without getting verification that it is compatible. So, in this 3694, actually, let's take a look. Yeah, it does not come up in the fifth, just the, the, but it will work in the 4700 series, which would be a knob lock. And it is indeed listed in that section as well. So it shows up in the in the catalog four times, and that those are the uh, pages in the cut sheet that is linked to down below this video. 4700 LN, 5400 LN. Um, their EBOSS series locks that are here as well. Uh, and... Right, and that's, that's it. So let's take a look at the chart here. So be mindful, beveled edge only. Um, if you have a square edge door, you're going to find it um, not so nice. It's not going to sit flush uh, in your door, and plus it's not going to operate real smoothly at all. So be mindful of that. This is a deadlocking uh, unit, so that when the deadlocking tab is seen here, is held back or held practically flush to the face of the faceplate. You cannot loid the latch back or tamper with it. The important part is that it's a half inch latch throw, so you'll want to talk about um, conversation about what if it's a fire rated door, what does your label say that's on the door itself? What is the minimum latch throw? This is half inch only. Okay. Uh, they do have a three-quarter inch version, uh, which could be found on pairs of doors. You'll see a three-quarter inch latch throw. And then inch and an eighth wide um, uh, is the front, and it's two and a quarter tall with a one-inch latch diameter. Okay, so what's important? Beveled half-inch latch throw. That's that's what's important with with the three and three-quarter. You'll find other latches here, obviously, in these grade ones. I don't see a two and three eighths. And in fact, I recently supplied a two and three eighths latch bolt from a grade two lever for a client who had a discontinued grade one knob, a beautiful grade one knob from Yale, bronze finish. The gentleman, she, the the client was a widow, and her husband was literally a hardware sales rep, and she had a door that she needed a lock on, and she went in her basement, and her husband had all these samples down there, and one of them was a lock that had, would have today a list price of several hundred dollars. Well, they don't make a 2 and 3 eighths latch for a grade 1 lock, but we confirmed that the grade 2 would work in that lock with Yale technical support, so the client was able to resurrect this really awesome you know, knob lock, this grade 1 knob lock from Yale made, who knows, in the 1970s. Um, it worked out really great. So other back sets that we were talking about earlier. Here's your table. Um, and you can get exotic with these as well. Whatever you want to do in terms of back set can be done. But you can see what you need to start with. So be mindful of that. None of them are 2 and 3 eighths. Um, some manufacturers will have you start with a 2 and 3 eighths, but you have to watch the table. So if you want to get to 18 inch, if you have a... Um, three foot door and you want to go mid-century you would order that you'd have a two and three quarter and then you're going to order the 484 extension and what's nice about that is 
when you extend it out when the factory makes an extension for this really unusual back set that spring in there the rate of the spring is not going to be such that you'd have to have the forearms of Popeye to be able to turn the knob because you're not stacking all these tiny little links together with a higher compression rate on the spring so that's how that's going to work that's your back set obviously they can do the latch front and other finishes so as to match the lock that you have I mean within reason um, you know uh, I don't know that they're going to make a uh, an oil well they probably make an oil rubbed finish but sometimes you have a compatible finish that will be done with like if you were dealing with a 690 uh, satin nickel lock and eh, the latch front's probably going to be satin chrome or stainless steel because it's so compatible back to that manufacturer's page which again is here I'd like to just point out to you the very fun links that we have here to these really old archival catalogs from Yale and Town is what they were named or known for back then. Catalogs that go back um, several decades and in case 19 in, in, in many of these you've got five of them from the 19th century. What's interesting about that? Well what's interesting is you might have a door closer in your Masonic Lodge and you know it's from about World War II you could pull up this 1937 catalog and very possibly find that door closer in there. And why is that important? Because you can call me up because we do repair work on these old, old, old closers from Yale. We repair those. So it's kind of nice to be able to pull that book up and say, yep, that's the closer that I have. Uh, speaking of that, how to identify Yale closers. All the Yale products that we sell can be seen here as, long as, a link, as well as a link to the website. Uh, for Yale. Fun fact, it was Linus Yale Jr. who invented the modern pin tumbler so cylinder. And without going into too much detail, the pin tumbler cylinder is a lock technology that every single one of us likely uses on a daily basis. And Linus Yale Jr. didn't invent the principle of the cylinder. That was done by the Egyptians 4,000 years ago. But he is, he is sure the fellow who took that initial idea and turned it into the most common platform of cylinder that exists, um, at least in North America. Well, certainly in North America. Elsewhere, not so. Uh, but in North America, it, it certainly does. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, the name Yale is synonymous with lock sets, exit devices, door closers. And they do a really, they do a good job. They have a, uh, a pretty good technical support department that I can rely on, draw on, and get answers from, etc., etc. So, if you need a three and three quarter latch, the only thing that I would have failed the test on, I would have made that a, a floating edge. Um, but, you know, once upon a time, doors were beveled. You know, having a square edge door in a commercial setting, that wasn't the case. Um, doors were beveled, and that's, you know, three and three quarter may have been a popular back set a few decades ago, maybe the 1960s. Um, that's probably why you're going to see it in a beveled setting, because if someone's replacing one, um, it's probably a beveled edge door. But be mindful, if you're doing something new, new construction, make sure that's a beveled edge door. Any questions on the Yale 3694, 3 and 3 quarter deadlocking latch bolt? What I meant by that was, you hold the tab back, and you can't Lloyd that, otherwise Otherwise, you can. And the term Lloyd, L-O-I-D, is when you're jimmying or tampering the latch to get in. Proper installation, the face of the strike will hold that back so that you can't get that open. Any questions on the 3694 Yale latch bolt or any other Yale product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.